More breaking news out of Volusia County. In the last few hours, deputies have confirmed they found a body in a submerged car that belongs to a missing teacher. The teacher from Volusia County disappeared more than three years ago without a trace. Robert Haka taught at Creekside Middle School until October of 2020 when even the FBI couldn't find him. But this evening, his car turned up off State Road 44 in a swampy pond. New Six's Brian Didlake is there. Volusia County Sheriff's Office says right now their next step is to get a positive ID on the body found in Robert Heike's vehicle. Deputies say that they wouldn't have gotten this far in their investigation without the help of volunteers. Uh, two crews of volu uh, volunteers notified Port Orange that, that they found a vehicle belonging, they believe belonging to the, their missing person. And that vehicle belonged to Port Orange teacher Robert Heike, who has been missing for more than two years. Heike's vehicle was found submerged in a canal along Pioneer Trail between State Road 44 and 415. It's in the same area where the sheriff's office say in a tweet that water levels recently dropped significantly. This allowed Volusia County's dive team to recover the vehicle and inside, deputies say they found a body. Police have been in contact with, uh, with the family. Heiko was last seen back in 2020 by neighbors leaving his Port Orange home. Investigators previously noting the 70-year-old Creekside Middle School teacher was spotted at an ATM machine near Coco in Cape Canaveral Shores two days before he went missing. He's uh, been to a bank to an ATM, uh, so that's why we know he's down in that area. A multiple agencies from the FBI and local counties assisted in the search. Authorities using cell phone towers to ping Heiko's location. So we go through and we look at the cell phone pings and there was his last cell phone ping. Volunteer search teams say it was that cell phone ping that helped their search efforts. Establish pattern of life so we look at where they were, where they're going, what their normal routines are. The search team says they hope this will help Heike's family find answers. We give the families closure but it's answers to you know to where their loved one is and and that's really what we're trying to uh, trying to do here. Now this investigation is still in its early stages but we're going to be following up with deputies to see if there was any signs of foul play or how did Heike's vehicle get in that body of water. We are in Volusia County. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.